So my assistant, Tools, everybody calls her Tools, recently did me this email on my birthday, just you know, telling me stuff. I don't know things she had mentioned, it made me laugh so hard. <laughs> and she was like, one time she was spending the night at my place and she was in the kitchen washing her plates. And then she just hit her like, wait, how come is it has so few spoons and so few plates and so few cutleries in general? And she's a whole woman with a family, two children. Like, how come she has so few of this? And I'm single and I have all these cutleries and carbs and spoons and all of that stuff. I said, she's just like, I don't have to live like this. So when she got home, she packed everything and decluttered her entire kitchen. And I thought that was so beautiful and that was so sweet and that was so impactful. Because really, that's how my life is. I tend to live lean. I tend to live minimal. And that's what this video is about. Plus, I hope that you go and declutter afterwards. So this video is really about how, even though we have this abundance mindset, the abundance mindset is not always about getting more and having more and buying more and doing more and being more. No, this video will really go against the grain and hopefully teach us how to live lean and for the sake of all things bright and beautiful, how to go slow, how to slow down the pace of your life. Why? Because these two things actually have the ability to greatly impact your journey to healthy living. Simply put, you would win more at your desire and your motivation to live a healthier lifestyle if you live lean or live minimal and go slow. So keep on watching for how all of this comes nicely together. I am CEO and founder at Coach E Nation. So as a health coach, I got really tired of people coming to me with weight loss as their primary goal. And then they just want a meal plan, meal plan, <laughs> or they just want this exercise guide. And it's even possible that they get results, but a few months down the line, poof, the results disappear. And you know, that's funny because I actually lost weight now almost eight years ago. And the results I got then, I still have them today. And I desperately wanted that for my citizens, for the women that I get the privilege and honor of coaching. I want more people to not just get results, but keep the results that they have gotten and they so deserve. So that made me as a coach to start to think beyond that traditional or disease model where I want to lose weight is the goal or I'm fighting this health challenge and the doctor has said I have to lose weight and all of that. I like to move people as a health coach. My biggest goal is to really move people from this traditional or disease model, like it's called, where you want to lose weight or you're fighting a health condition and the doctor has said you have to lose weight or whatever would happen. So I wanted to really get them from that model to a more proactive model where I'm not trying to lose weight and I'm certainly not fighting any kind of disease, but I truly believe that prevention is still better than cure. So we move from that traditional to the prevention model and then you don't just stay there, you're actually thinking how can I optimize my life, how can I live my very best life, how can I live at my most optimal health, so that's a goal for me, which is why with coaching we don't just stay with nutrition and you know exercising and all, we go deeper, we go into your mindsets and your habits which is really a lot of psychology, then we look at the structures you have set up in your life, discipline, and you know order and all of that because really your healthy living desire cannot just fit into any kind of you know jagger jagger structure no your healthy living desire must fit into a beautiful orderly life that's why we bring all of that together to give you breakthrough coaching and when you get the results that you want you actually get to keep them because they fit into a nice system i truly look forward to one day getting the privilege and honor of coaching you too so now let's go into today's video that talks about living lean and going slow as really two tools that can help you on this healthy living journey. Okay, meanwhile, fun fact. 
Um, this is the first video I'm shooting after about six to seven weeks. So it feels good to be in front of a camera again and you know all the challenges that come with shooting a video. <laughs> it's a lot of work, which is why you should subscribe, you should share, you should drop a comment, or uh, anything you can do to you know just give us more traction <laughs> because our people have like ups and downs during this one and but it's all good. I'm happy to be in front of the camera again. I'm happy to be scripting and all of that good stuff. The last video I shot is this one that's currently showing now. <laughs> And I'm happy to, really happy to be here again. So, the problem. The problem is not that you don't have the intention, you don't have the desire, you don't have the motivation. And you have it. You even start. But somehow you realize that you cannot keep on going. You know what to do. You have all the tools. You, you, you're ready. Like, you signed up for this thing. But somehow you realize that you're not able to keep the momentum going. Why is that? It's simply because the systems and structures that are currently in your life cannot carry the weight, <laughs> the weight and the demands of living healthy. Because truly, living healthy requires you to be very intentional, requires everything to fit into a system and a model. Which is why the Bible says in Luke 14, I think 28 to 30, that which of you desiring to build a house does not sit down and count the cost. So counting the cost is not even only about the money. It's also about looking at your life. Can you truly start and finish this thing? Have you set up the right systems and structures financially, time-wise, you know, relational-wise, to ensure that you win? Otherwise, you drop out or you would not finish the house and people would look and be like, oh, look at that person. She started and she did not finish. And we don't want to be people like that, which is why I'm doing this video, so that you can actually start and complete the journey. So think about it. Your life is so full, right? Even your physical space there's clutter, your kitchen is full of clutter, your living room, even your bedroom. And if you have kids, oh my god, they have like so many toys and so many shoes and so many things and your house is just constantly cluttered. And I'm sure you're wondering like, how does that really impact my healthy living journey? How does clutter affect my decision and desire to stay healthy? Um, clutter actually leads to decreased focus, decreased attention, negative emotions, confusion. I love how Peter Walsh puts it. He said clutter is not just stuff you have on the floor. Clutter is anything that stands between you and the life of your dreams or between you and your best life like we see here. So clutter is much more deeper than we think, whether it's physical clutter or it's mental clutter. Which is why if you have like a lot of clutter and disorder in your life, your healthy living journey most likely will not be sustained because like I said, your healthy living needs a structure, it needs a system if it's going to stand. It cannot be something you do on a whim, it cannot be something that is reactionary. It has to be something that is ordered and structured that fits into the beautiful system of your life. Clutter also keeps your mind constantly buzzing, like it just zzzz. So when it comes to now making decisions that have to do with your health, guess what? Because your mind is constantly buzzing and there's no space and there's no, you know, there's no zen, you just make poor decisions. You can't even sustain the good, your good intentions are not enough. You can't sustain it. Your motivation is not enough simply because there's just so much clutter. Which is why I want to encourage you to please leave lean. And then live really minimal. Yes, I understand the abundance mindset. Like, I want this, you want that, you want all of the fancies. But I assure you that if you live the leaner life, if you live the more minimal life, if you live the less cluttered life, your healthy living aspirations will truly come to pass. I like how someone describes minimalism. It says, living with things, only things that you consider useful, and I'll say useful to your goals, useful to your values, and you consider beautiful, actually beautiful to your soul. So if it doesn't help your values and it doesn't do any good to your soul, it's not beautiful to your soul, just take it out, go to your kitchen. I like the, I like the whole concept in Atomic Habits where he talks about make it simple. So make it simple for yourself. Take away the extra clutter in your kitchen. Keep healthy things easier. Don't, don't let it be among the clutter and the junk. Keep your healthy things. Let it be something you can easily grab. Put an order around how you make your food, how you buy your stuff, so that when you need it, it's there. If not, if your life is too full and too cluttered, when it comes to the time to eat, you'll just make the poor choices. Try it. I know that this looks so simplistic, but trust me, this is one of the reasons why I have been able to sustain my journey, and even many other people. So I'm not just here about giving this meal plan, giving this nutrition plan, like I call it, uh-uh. I'm like, if I give it to you, can it fit into a system and a structure that you have already built in your life? Otherwise, it's really going to fail. Decision making is truly harder when your brain is in this constant state of chaos and confusion. And that's what happens when there's both physical clutter and mental clutter. So please, arrange your life. Arrange it. Arrange it, bro. <laughs> like this picture you're seeing. And let your healthy living desires fit into this nice cluttered life. Or it will fail. I'm sorry. Which takes me to my next point. Go slow. Just go slow. And that's what happens when you have a lot of clutter. 
you tend to start to rush, 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 rush. I, I read in a book recently, actually a book I read several times, and it says, it's more to life than increasing the speed. And Jesus was never in a hurry. Jesus went slow. And slow is not just so much about the pace, like, oh, you're, you know, like, I'm being slow, I'm wasting time. No, slow is really about being able to control the pace of your life. You're able to say, okay, let me increase the pace a little bit. Let me fast forward. Let me go slower. Do you get It's that remote control. And that's what happens when you have less clutter. So picture this scenario. And I talked about this thing called Miss and Plus in this video. I think I'm going to link it down below too. Where Miss and Plus is simply preparing everything ahead of time, even before you need it. So chefs will typically use it where you have everything you need to cook ready. So when it's time to cook, you just go picky. You're not like trying to get all these things and then you're just in a hurry. So think about it, even at home, you have kids. If your kids prepared everything they needed to wear, everything they needed for school the next day, the night before, you wake up into order and they don't have like too many things lying around the houses are in when they wake up there's order there's then it's easier for you to flow through the morning you're not looking for somebody's shoes somebody's singlet somebody's boxers nope everything is just orderly you're not rushing but picture the opposite where they didn't bring out anything then they have like hundred singlets they have like all the socks are just you know jumbled up together and they can't find stuff that's why you start shouting in the morning. That's why you're spanking. That's why you're screaming. You're losing your mind. You're just losing control. And there's there's no order in that place. So when you tend to go fast like that, you're in a hurry. And I like that's always says, hurry is of the devil. Look, you've already taken up too much emotional energy. You're not going to make the best choice when it comes to food because you're already stressed. Imagine that everything was just so zen and smooth and nice and orderly in the morning. You can even give them healthy food. You can even prepare something healthy, even if it will take a bit more time. But remember, you're not in a hurry. You're slow. You're controlled. You're pacing yourself. But if you're just in a hurry, like, okay, just eat this cereal. Just do this thing. Let's just hurry and go. Children of God should not be boring, please. One of my favorite scriptures for all of my life is in 1 Corinthians 14, verse 3. And it says, let everything be done in an orderly manner. In a decent and orderly manner. I love it. That's how your life should be. And, and this even goes into your mental space. So some of us are like in so many groups. So many groups. So many meetings. So many activities. So many this. If you do not have space in your life, if there's no order, everything is cluttered, there's no space. It's like many tabs open on your computer. What happens to the computer? It slows everything down. So the task you're supposed to do, you're not rushing through it. Like you might make mistakes because you're trying to like submit something to meet a deadline or send this email. But your computer is so slow because so many tabs are open, things are slowing it down. So think about your life. Look, get on your phone, get on whatever device you have and just look, do I really need to be in all of these groups? Do I really need to give myself to all of these activities? Because if you expend yourself so much like that, it just brings when there's no space in your life, there's chaos, there's too much clutter, and your healthy living aspirations are not going to work. Just as simple as that. Simple, but it's not going to work. So you just realize that when there's all this hurry and pressure, you don't make the best quality decisions. In fact, not only for your healthy living journey, even for your spiritual life, you just realize that you're not making the best decisions. You are just, you're just making poor decisions, poor quality decisions here and there, and you really do not need that. So please, for the love of all things beautiful and bright, please stop. Stop now. Go. Declutter your physical space, declutter your mental space, bring order and zen and structure to your life, arrange your life, then take all your healthy living aspirations and all the plans that you have made and the motivation and the ginger and bring it into this orderly space. That is when you're able to start the journey and then stay on the journey and get the results that you deserve and then keep the results that you deserve. So, I hope that you have gotten like, something super fantastic from this video. Please like, share, subscribe, and I will see you in my next video. Until then, I'm leaving you with a shalom shalom of God, which is the perfect peace of God. Because, like the Jewish people say, the prayer of shalom contains all of the prayers. God bless you. Why? Because this two... <laughs> And then somehow, okay, from a go. Wanted to move completely from that to a more proactive model, a more um, proactive model, a model that actually where you a more oh God, okay, where I'm not trying to lose weight. I'm just trying to where I'm not trying to lose weight, but I truly you know. So you have this. Oops. Okay. why the Bible says in Luke 8 14 which is why the Bible says in Luke 14 uh, how does clutter affect my visit my this how does clutter, is clutter 
In fact, I really love how in your life. Decision making is truly harder when your brain is a constant. <laughs> Decision making is truly harder. So please, all things up. So please, the love of up. That is when you're able to sustain. No, you're not even able to. That is when you're able. Um, until then. <laughs> until then. Keep. I end this video. It's going to be better.